Ravi Banuchan of Class 10B of Auxilium High School, Andhra Pradesh. Today I am here to tell about my model that is CNG bus and uh, cloud seeding aircraft. Today pollution is becoming a serious problem in our society. So keeping that in view, I have designed a bus which is running on CNG which is compressed natural gas. So today pollution is becoming a major problem, it's playing a vital role in destruction of our society. So keeping that in view, I have designed a bus along with many additional features with like CC camera, metal detecting device and also toilet facility. So every man wants to be luxurious and it's prestige issue that he should travel in his own car, his own vehicle and his, his own uh, transport system. But he'll never assess how much amount of pollution he's producing because of his diesel engine vehicles. So keeping that in view, I have designed this bus. Coming to the bus, this bus is not only environmentally clean and eco-friendly, it is also having many additional features in it. Suppose if any person is carrying any arm in this, so as he enters into the bus, we can see that he'll be immediately detected. This is a metal detector device which is present inside the bus. At present, it's running with a simple magnetic theory and suppose this is the entrance of the bus. So as we enter inside, immediately the person will be detected. By that, we can make out the person, those who are carrying arms. And then coming to the CC camera, this is for the integral uh, facility for the passengers. If any theft or robbery is happening inside the bus, then the person will immediately be caught up and if any violation takes place through wireless signals, he'll be sending to the nearby police station by that the person can be rounded up and caught. Coming to the toilet facility, there's also, uh, we can see the toilet facility is internally built in the uh, buses. So uh, like this, it's not like rail engine dumping everything on the roadside and going, but it'll have a septic tank underneath where the entire drain is stored. And then when we reach the nearby station, immediately there'll be a scavenger who will drain out everything. By that, we can prevent the smell pollution which is caused by the rail engines. Now coming to the engine part, this is a CNG engine. So it's unlike diesel and petroleum engines, very complex. It's having many pipes in order to reduce the pressure of the gas. So as we switch on the self-start button, the gas passes through many pipes, reaches the starter and once it gets start, we can see that once we press the ignition start, entire system will be on. So by that we can save time, start the journey on time and also reach the destination on time. Now coming to the comparison between petroleum and diesel engine, we can see the co uh, how complex the diesel engine is, how co uh, equipped it looks. But whereas CNG, which is consisting of many pipes, is helpful in order to reduce the pressure. And once we press the self-start button, we can see that entire system is on. By that, we can save time. Again, as I've told you, we can start the journey on time and reach the destination on time. And but whereas in diesel and petroleum engine, we can see there's a starting problem in winter season. But CNG never gives that kind of problem. So we can say this engine is highly efficient. Now coming to the high, high mobility vehicle, which is consisting of auto cleaning system. This vehicle has a special device called as auto cleaning system. We can see that most of the vehicles which are running on petroleum and diesel engine produces some kind of smoke. And this smoke will be settling in the silencer pipe. When it settles in the silencer pipe, the carbon powder also will stick in, inside the silencer. Reducing the, thick, uh, reducing the thickness of the silencer pipe. So once the thickness is reduced, the pressure will be increased on the engine. When pressure is increased, naturally, again, the uh, long life of the engine is reduced. So keeping that problem in view, we have designed this auto cleaning system, which consists of an air tank, carbon tetrachloride solution, and the silencer pipe with a container at the bottom. So we can see that this air tank, whenever the air is spilled, the air along with carbon tetrachloride is pumped into the silencer which will clean away all the black soot or the carbon powder. By that, we are cleaning away the silencer, increasing the durability of the silencer, increasing also the long life of the engine and also the durability of the engine. Now coming to the production of CNG. This is the oil rig, ONGC rig, which will dig up up to 4000 feet underneath the earth and then pull out the gas from the earth. Then immediately from the gas, methane is extracted. So that methane is passes through many pipes and reaches the compressor where it gets compressed to get CNG. Now the CNG is again sent to another unit where mericaptan is added to it. When mericaptan is added to it, the order is given to the CNG gas. Once the order is given, we can detect any leakage of the gas. Now here we can see how the gas, raw gas, is sent to the gas well and from the gas well to the compressing unit where the gas gets compressed and then utilized in our buses. At the extreme corner, I have showed an electric engine because most of the cities are not electrified. 
So the government usually goes for diesel and petrol uh, diesel engines. Once it goes for diesel engines, again we have the problem of pollution. So what I meant to say is that in the sector of CNG, whether it's the production of the gas, utilization of the gas or transportation of the gas, it must be eco-friendly and environmentally clean. And then if the soil systems are not followed and in future, if the pollution keeps on increasing like this, the only weapon for combating our climatic change for monsoon is this cloud seeding. This is the cloud seeding aircraft which is helpful in doing the cloud seeding with the help of spraying silver iodide into the clouds in order to get the artificial rainfall. So here we can see once silver iodide is sprayed how the clouds get thunders and then shower the rainfall. And this is a satellite device which is helpful in communicating with along with the pilot. This is a computer station from which the person will be sending the information to the satellite. This is the radar which is rotating 360 degrees spreading its electromagnetic waves into the atmosphere. So once it hits the clouds immediately the waves reflect back and goes back to the receiver station and when it goes to the receiver station immediately the information will be again sent to the computer station from the computer station again to the satellite. We can get artificial way of rainfall but this is a very costly process. In the final, I want to conclude by saying that in developing country like India, there is no need to go for artificial rainfall or artificial clou cloud seeding methods. The thing is that we have to reduce the pollution by ourselves and utilize the reserves which are present in India instead of going for Gulf countries for petroleum. And with the help of my parents, teachers and also my friends, I have made this model which is made up of low cost which we have collected from the waste paper news shop from Andhra Pradesh. Thank you.